Hey, reptile people of the internet. Um, you know, I know it's been a while, but I'm really going to try to make a concerted effort to post more videos. I want to be more active online. You know, I'm just, I'm stupid busy. I'm in school. I have a job and it's a really hard, mentally challenging job, but I love it. And then I also have my own collection to take care of, so I don't always have time to post videos, but I'm really going to make an effort to post more, like today. Um, I just finished a two-day show, uh, Kansas City Reptile Expo, put on by Earps and Sean Gray. It was great. It was the first time they've been here in Kansas City, um, and I was impressed. There was a big variety of animals. It was not all ball pythons, and it wasn't all bearded dragons. I mean, there was, like, some cool stuff. And they even had an educational stage, which is something I feel Reptile Expos are totally missing out on, is education and interactive, just more than just selling. It seems like reptile shows and expos are just sell, 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 sell everything. But I think they need more than just selling. If we want to bring more people into this hobby and thus make more money in the future, we've got to interest people and educate people. And this show was really nice because there were um, a lot of people who had never seen a snake before. There were lots of hobbyists too, so that helped with sales. But there were also people who were just there to experience snakes and see snakes and reptiles and all that good stuff. Um, so that's something I try to bring with my reptile table whenever I have a table at an expo. I only do maybe two or three shows a year. And But when I do them, I'm not trying to just sell, sell, sell. I want to get people interested for the future. Um, so here I'm just going to show you a couple short clips of my table and what I do and a couple of my short tail adults because they are the showstoppers. Um, so yeah, here's a couple clips. Right now I gotta go unpack a bunch of snakes. These are just leftovers from the show. My snake room is a disaster after a show. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, so anyways, enjoy the clip. And remember the reptile shows shouldn't be all about selling. It's actually kind of the end of the show, so we're pretty sold out and minimal. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what we sell at our shows. Nothing fancy. Uh, we make a bunch of wet specimens and art. And today, actually this weekend, these are probably the best sellers. We sold out of almost everything. I mean, it was like things like billions. And some carpet pythons and deer feet. And eggs, I mean all kinds of weird things that we've just collected and sell. Um, and then I also brought isopods and springtails. <laughs> but most importantly, I'm not just trying to sell stuff, I'm trying to educate. So I have my little like short tailed python set up here, which includes a care guide. I'm a big believer that if you sell an animal, a live animal, you should provide a care guide. Even if someone's not buying it, give them a care guide. Let them take a care guide so that in the future, these people can come back to you with information and they'll be prepared to buy the animal later. So I always give care guides and I always let people handle my short tail. Like all these babies are perfectly fine with being come up and being touched. Um, and I make sure there's germex so everybody can come up and touch them. And then I also always bring an adult because I want people to understand that these babies turn into something totally different. This is my big girl, Smoke. She wasn't in here all day. She's been in another container. I just sold the sink that was in here, so I put her in here. But, um, you know, I've been taking her out and letting people handle her, handle her and just showing people that they're not some evil demon snakes. They're really cool. <laughs> So now Amethyst is going to pull out Neptus for you. It's like whenever we have this snake out, everybody just stops <laughs> and has to come over and look at her and handle her because even the video doesn't pick it up very well. This is a huge snake and so this is why I bring adults is I want to show people how big they get. <laughs> 
this little tiny baby is gonna turn into this giant monster. So anyways, that's our table. Yeah, we sell stuff, but we also try to educate and that is so important and that is missing in reptile shows these days. Any question you have about anything out here, we are more than happy to describe and talk to people and tell them everything about it. Okay, thanks for pulling her out.